how to use home base for scheduling and more hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how you can use home base to manage your team create a team and then schedule your team members schedule your week and month using home base so let's get started First, what I want you guys to do is simply go to joinhomebase.com and you will get to this platform right here. Homebase is world's leading platform, very easy to use and helps you manage your team, create payrolls, HR and more. So what you guys need to do is go to get started in order to create a brand new account if you are a complete beginner and creating an account is really easy. You just have to enter your information. You can create a business account or you can sign in as a manager. So you will create your account on home base. Once you have an account, you can sign in. That's what I'm going to do. I will just sign into my home base and you can see right here. This is my dashboard here. Once you get to the dashboard right here, let me show you all all of the different options available so first of all we have main menu here and in main menu we have dashboard then we have schedule where i will be scheduling my month and my week then we have timesheets where we can create timesheets of course then we have payroll team hiring where i can hire different employees from indeed and other integrations similarly we have manager log where I can enter all of my data and all of my information. We have reports, safety, and settings. So these are the different options right here we have on home base. Let's you know check them out one by one. So first thing that we do on home base is that uh, simply go to schedule and I'll show you how I schedule my week for my employees and how you can enter a brand new team member and schedule a week for them or a month for them and so right here i have some of my information for a few of my employees and i have added their um, information you can see so we have first of all what we do is we just go with day week or month so i personally prefer a week where i schedule a week for my different members because sometimes what happens is one of the member is missing and if there there are different tasks every week so that is why i prefer a weekly view but you can also go with monthly and you can schedule your whole month and then we can print it out we have different tools too we can also schedule a day so i go to week right here and this is what i prefer a weekly view here i will be able to check all of the days of the week of course then we have our list right here list of employees here at the bottom you will see your hourly wages for each of the member that how much they're going to work this week and how much you will have to pay them now let's add a brand new employee so to add an employee what i can do is i can go to this team option right here and add, add a person and a team member or i can go to this option right here which says add employees click on it and now we can add a team member in order to add a brand new team member you will have to enter their first name last name contact information and email address so let me fill it up so once you have added this information, now we can select their access level. If they're employee, manager or general manager, so I'm going to select employee from here. Then we can add different roles and, and give different roles, assign different roles to different team members. In this case, we have assistant manager, CEO, cashier, bartender and others. If you want to create a custom role, you can do that too. So this person is actually a sales associate. So I'm going to select this one and then we have to select their wage. So I'm going to just simply select $30 per hour. We can go with R or yearly. So I'm going to go with R and next all i have to do is click on save and add another. So if you want to just finish, you can just finish it up and not add another one. So I have added right here. This is the employee that I just added. Now to schedule a week for them, what I need to do is click on this add option. And now if they're doing the same work from Monday till Friday, I will just select the days from here and then I can add their custom timing. So the custom timing is going to be from nine to five. It looks good to me, but we can select any time we like again, ending time, whatever time you want to go for. Then another thing we do is we select a color. This is really important because you can see if you have different colors, um, it will help you customize it the way you want to. Once you have added all the information, just click on add and you will see it will be added right here. And I have scheduled a week for them. Similarly, I can schedule for this employee. And let's say that they work till Thursday. I'm just going to select a color for them too. 
there you go click on add select the time and there you go it will be added here so that's how we simply schedule our employees here now i can copy print or i can perform bulk actions too Similarly, we have team availability and I can set availability for my team, for my different team members and that because of this schedule right here, now I know which employees is available on Monday, which employees available on Tuesday. And so you can see right here, we can set availability. Let's say that I want to set availability for this team member right here. So I'm going to click on add option. And now on Monday, I can say that they're available whole day. So I'm just going to click on add. And now availability will be added right here, like they're available whole day. Let's say that this employee is available on Wednesday, but they're just available from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'll just click on add and it will be added right here and I can check the time. And this way I will get a better idea that which employee is available when. Similarly, we can move on to the timesheets and I can create timesheets for my different employees and for my team members. When it comes to timesheet, keep in mind that we can uh, import a timesheet and we can download our timesheet anytime we like. Similarly, we have our payroll and in payroll, I will be able to, you know, get all the payroll information. Similarly, we have team. So in team, as I showed you before, we will be able to add new members. Uh, really easily and it will help me create a team here then we have the hiring option so hiring is really interesting what happens on home base is that i can not only manage my team schedule my team but we, i can also go ahead and actually hire people directly from indeed and linkedin so we have different jobs right here already for example assistant manager or cashier but let's say that i want to hire an editor or someone so i can just go to all of these different platforms to hire people and then i will be able to view my applicants i can interview them i will get a career page as well so this will really help me manage my hiring process and automate my hiring process to create a team of my own hire people directly from home base i don't have to go to any third party to do so um similarly we have our own manager log and here if if i am a manager i can just log all my data and my entries here on home base i don't need to go to spreadsheet and go to other platforms so the main idea of home base is that we get our own platform our own hub from where i can schedule my week i can create timesheets payrolls i can create team members i can hire people i can get reports and i can also do a lot more from just one platform so it's all in one our complete business manager that we can get in order to manage our team and schedule our month and week to get more productive and creative so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use home base to schedule your month and manage your team don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel